Hey people, it is Saturday, September the 2nd, and the time is 8.38 in the evening, and it's currently a balmy 24 Celsius, feeling a bit warmer with the Humidex. And I am in front of the Toronto Convention Center here on Front Street West. And I'm going to be making my way through part of downtown up to College Park. It's just a nice night for a walk. And I finished up a live stream in this area and I thought, why not just record part of my walk home? Downtown is very busy right now. A lot of people out and about. It is a long weekend, Labor Day weekend. Lots of big events are taking place in the city this weekend. <laughs> including something at the convention center which I'm not sure what it is exactly because Fan Expo recently yes. took place last weekend but I think another convention is taking place this weekend where there's more people dressed up in costumes So I think what I'll do is I'll take Simcoe Street to the north, we'll cut through part of the entertainment district. and Simcoe. So just to the east, a couple of blocks is Union Station. Oh, look, I happened upon a large gathering of cyclists. I'm not sure if this is Just a group of wheelie enthusiasts. I think that's just the wheelie gang. They weren't doing too many wheelies though at the moment. And a lot of them don't have lights on their bike. <laughs> but nevertheless, it looks like a good time. Got some stragglers. Catch up to the rest of the wheelie gang.
Well, Simcoe Street here is not the liveliest downtown street, but it's one I don't often walk along. It does cross King Street up ahead, which is a very busy street running through the entertainment district and the financial district. It's Roy Thompson Hall, home of the Toronto Symphony. And Simcoe Street takes its name from John Graves Simcoe, who was the founder of the town of York, which eventually became the city of Toronto. Yeah, there's David Pico Square. Looking east towards the financial district. Maybe I'll cross here just to avoid the music on that side. Yeah, some people are making a film. I wonder if they know that their film is going to be in my film. A film within a film. I think there was already a movie by that name called Inception, if I remember correctly. So we're sort of almost on the dividing line between the entertainment district to the west and the financial district to the east. I think this is technically part of the entertainment district, but we're just barely in it. Adelaide Street.
You know there was a Rabba location there. These things are popping up everywhere around downtown. They're open 24 hours, so it can be handy. A sushi bar and dry cleaners all in one. I'm going to start heading east along Richmond Street. This will take us officially into the financial district. As we cross University Avenue. You can see the elevator in the Hilton Hotel here. Will it go up or will it go down? And it's going down. It moves pretty fast. Much faster than the elevator in my apartment building. So Richmond Street through the financial district here is mainly just a one-way traffic funnel. It's not one of the most interesting streets to walk along by any means, but once again, I don't often record videos along here. the Sheraton Center Hotel, one of the biggest hotels downtown. It does have Little Anthony's Italian Ristorante.
and also Chef's Hall. Although Chef's Hall seems to be closed right now. And Google is also located here for the time being. They have a brand new building on King Street East though that's almost complete and I imagine they've already begun the move into that new building. And down here you can see an entranceway into the path, the underground network of shops and restaurants spanning throughout the financial district beneath the office towers. And when I do come down Richmond Street, it's mainly for this view right here, looking south down Shepherd Street. One of my favorite terminal views in the city where Shepherd Street ends at Adelaide with First Canadian Place. I think it has a magnificent sort of huge city closed in look to it. And the Victory Building, a classic skyscraper. Over a hundred years old. It recently got a refurbishment, sprucing up the exterior, making it look like new again, and they did a good job. It's a bit too dark now, I think, to get the best look at that, but in any case, it looks nice. All lit up at night. Bay Street. So I'm going to head north towards College Street. We got traffic backed up all the way down Bay Street, looking to the south. Let's follow the LED light up the side of the St. Regis Hotel. See if they meet in the middle. Quite the traffic situation here tonight. Oh, 
we're just in time. You can listen to the old City Hall clock tower ringing in 9 p.m. Someone's phone went off. For a second, I was like, that's not how the clock tower is supposed to sound. <laughs> All right, I want to get across this way and then that way again. Well, there we go. There was a bit of a delay. It is 9 p.m. Do you know where your children are? I'll go up on top of the stairs and we'll get a nice look down Bay Street. I love this view looking south down bay from here. Well, they went the wrong way and now they're forced to try and <laughs> run across the street here and there they go <laughs> they should have went around the other way and then crossed over there Over in Nathan Phillips Square, Dragon Fest is taking place. I did do a walk through there in another video. side of old city hall not the most flattering view did i say old well it is kind of old now it's technically the new city hall but it's almost 60 years old now itself
We're heading north up Bay Street. It's a straight shot up to College Park from here. Up ahead is Dundas Street. We got a gang of scooter guys. Much smaller than the wheelie gang. <laughs> they need more members. Looking west towards Young and Dundas. Or did I say west? I meant east. I always do that. That's looking west into a little Tokyo. Well, I always like how these spinning discs of the old Sam the Record Man sign look looking down from this direction here. Yeah, typical Toronto driving. Heading north on Bay Street into what I like to call the Condo Canyon. It's almost a long, continuous stretch of high-rise residential buildings all the way up to past Bloor.
with a few office towers mixed in for good measure. More hospital buildings. There's Elm Street, looking quite nice. And this was a fresh city market at the base of this apartment building, but it seems to have closed down. Not sure what will be going in to replace that. At least the residents have this other market just across the street that is open 24 hours. This is a rental building called the Livemore. So it's not all condos. There are some rental apartment buildings as well. And I'm just going to grab my power bank and plug it in because I can see that my battery power is about to die here. will do the trick. I thought I'd make it all the way to College Park without having to plug in the power bank, but I guess I slightly underestimated how long this battery would last, but we're just coming into the park right now, so I wasn't too far off. This is just a nice 
spot in the middle of downtown where you can chill or do some skating both in the summer and in the winter. And enjoy the fountains. And the awesome view looking all around of the surrounding skyscrapers. I'm going to start to wrap up the video. We made our way from the convention center to College Park on a busy Saturday night during the busy Labor Day weekend here in the city. So I hope you enjoyed the walk. Leave a comment down below if so. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And also make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos, and if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store. And down below you'll see a super thanks button if you'd prefer to support the channel that way. And you can find me on Instagram under K Continuum. So thanks for watching, and thanks to supporters and all the new channel members. And be sure to keep checking back because, as always, I will continue.